welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today we're gonna to be talking about a very hot topic in the parenting community and that's how to keep your cool stay sane and not go crazy whatever wording you want to use we're gonna talk about that today and more specifically for stay-at-home parents because hey dads can stay home too right I mean whatever anyways I have my notes on my phone and this isn't really scripted, so like, I do kind of have my ideas for this laid out. We're gonna kind of wing it though, because I prefer to just sit down and ramble. You know what I'm saying? I don't follow a script very well. The first thing that I do, I don't care who judges me on this. I don't care if Sally Sue down the road judges me, or the Pope, or the Queen of England, Mother Nature. Well, she would agree very strongly with me on this. But I prioritize my sleep. I also prioritize my child's sleep, but that's for a different video. Um, I prioritize her sleep just as much as I do mine, but we're just going to talk about me in this video because this is how to keep our sanity, you know, so that we can be better parents. But yeah, like if I go to bed at let's say 10 p.m., which this week has been, <laughs> I've been very notorious for that because we've been thrown way off due to being sick. Um, I wake up, I'm not getting up at 4 or 5 a.m. like usual. I am getting up, I'm sleeping in until my daughter gets up, which is usually, which is usually about 7 to 7.30. And then if I haven't had at least 7 hours of sleep that night, I'm gonna take a nap. Because I'm telling you, if I don't sleep enough, I don't function as best as I possibly can. And if I'm not functioning as best as I possibly can, how can I give my daughter the best care possible because I like to do activities with her I like to read with her just all sorts of things you know and if I'm tired and I'm groggy and I'm exhausted number one I'm not gonna have a lot of patience so when she's crying and she's clinging to me I'm gonna be more likely to just get irritated and agitated and just frustrated rather than be like oh she hasn't had a snack yet today oh she's tired like my brain goes more into just like ah, instead of problem solving mode when I don't have enough sleep and I think that's anybody really but I know that I am the best parent possible when I've had enough sleep now I do have coping skills for when I'm not able to get enough sleep I just do a lot of deep breathing you know if I had to put her in a playpen or in a crib and just sit down and breathe for 10 minutes that doesn't happen very often because I work very hard to make sure that things run as smoothly as possible but yes i prioritize my sleep so much and if somebody has something to say about that well i mean you're more than welcome to come over and help me run my household rather than that like i don't care and you should feel the same way because sleep is so important even if you're not a parent if you're a student if you have a job if you just if you're sick like you need sleep and seven hours is the minimum so i make sure that my daughter and i both are getting enough sleep period and that brings me into my second thing scheduling and routine this i thrive on a schedule and i thrive on a routine now granted this week is a really good example um life isn't perfect life isn't predictable the beginning of this week or no sorry it was last wednesday my daughter and i got food poisoning and that was terrible and on top of that i'm also potty training a puppy so it was very chaotic uh my daughter and i both went to the er because it was chicken that we ate that was enough motivation to just throw the towel in and go completely vegan after that but yeah like we were sick we were both throwing up my dog like because i was exhausted and sick i slacked on her training so she kind of went backwards so on top of getting sick i'm cleaning up after the dog and trying to work with her but i'm very halfway because i am exhausted and not feeling well life happens you know but I definitely make my schedule and my routine a priority. And if I know something is throwing me off, like I cut that out. And it's not because I am selfish, actually. I will say that. 
I am selfish to a healthy amount and again that's for a later video but if there is something that I'm doing that's throwing me off schedule if I am hanging out with friends too late um, too close together I will be like hey like let's meet up during the day let's do it every other week or whatever or like school for example I signed up for classes that start around 6 p.m. and end around 9 next time I will make sure to sign up for classes that are way earlier in the day and not at night when I should be doing my bedtime routine and that might sound snobby to some people and it might be but that's just the way that I am and the way that I prefer things my schedule is also my daughter's schedule if that makes sense so like if my schedule gets thrown off it throws off her schedule if her schedule gets thrown off it throws off my schedule so I just put that above anyone else's needs anybody else's wants or plans and if that makes me rude or snobby then so be it you know another thing talking about routine and schedule is every day when she gets up we eat breakfast together um lunch is kind of like she doesn't always want to eat lunch sometimes i don't want to eat lunch and we always eat dinner together her naps are always around the same time if we go and do an activity which besides this past week i'm usually pretty good about getting out i try to schedule it around her nap so her naps are around 10 to 11 i mean sometimes it varies sometimes she's just not tired at 10 sometimes she's ready way before that um so what i try to do is leave a little bit before her nap because she'll fall asleep in the car so i try to leave at like 9 30. that way i can get up and have my morning to myself she gets up she gets to do everything and we're not in a rush to get out the door to go do whatever and that's another thing is not including this past week because again it was crazy i my goal is to get up at four that doesn't happen as often as i'd like but i do like to get up at four because that gives me hours to just myself and i can get so much done in that time period and i've noticed this past week not getting up super early it's made me feel more overwhelmed because then it's like I'm getting up at the same time as my daughter and I'm starting my morning the same time she is and that just does not work so I try to get up before six at best you know but my goal is four a lot of times I will end up waking up at five to five thirty which kind of cuts it shorter by a lot like the hour and a half or so makes a big difference but if i go to bed a little bit later and i'm not gonna get at least seven hours of sleep i will sleep in a little bit later because again i prioritize sleep and during that time in the morning that's when i get in my workout that's when i will shower and get dressed and do my makeup and meditate journal whatever i want to do with that remaining time so getting up before your children Will change your life and that also comes down to figuring out a perfect bedtime for them and then going to bed shortly after them which gets me into my next thing this is something that i have been trying really hard to learn because i struggle with this one and that is that your house is never going to be immaculate and perfect with children i'll kind of give you guys a tour of my apartment so i can show you what i'm talking about but I try and have everything done constantly. So I never like to just leave laundry in the dryer. I always like to, you know, switch it over as soon as it's done and then fold it as soon as it's done and put it all away and keep the floors immaculate without a speck of dust and keep the bed made. Well, that's not that hard because I just throw the sheets together or whatever when I get up. But I always try to like have everything organized, keep all of the toys organized, keep her bed nice and organized keep the dog toys nice and organized keep the counters clean and sparkling and everything fresh and <sighs> i keep the house clean and again i'm gonna you'll see in this little tour i keep the house clean so i said i would give her a little tour so here it is so 
this is my personal bathroom or it's my husband and i's bathroom but you can see like i just got done getting ready so there are things out that's fine whatever we have the dresser my tripod is coming in so i've been just putting my camera on this thing our room is very very clear and most things are put away except i have to keep this box out because it has all of her stuff in it i don't know why my i must have been tired <laughs> that's what i'm talking about like sometimes like there would just be things out no matter how hard you try and keep them put away all the time sometimes like when it's 10 11 at night and you've stayed up way past when you should have your mind look and then you just wake up and you're like when did i put my shoes in the bathroom when did i do that so my daughter went down for a nap right before i filmed and i went straight to the shower and got ready so that i could actually make a video today so i have not gotten to pick up between the time that she was playing and now so i'm gonna show you what it looks like before i clean up and what i'm talking about that really freaking bugs me i try to keep everything in the same place you know i have these drawers because i like to rotate her stuff and i will keep like extra things in there and i love this thing don't mind my puppy she's not allowed to be out alone right now we have the little cat area like see like this is nice and like organized but the fact that like like the pillows for example the fact that it's like i don't know what it is i don't know because it didn't used to be like this it'd probably be a good thing that i've become this way but just the fact that like, the pillows are crooked and there's like a little toy under the couch and she did a little activity before going down for her nap see dog toy and just randomly on the floor there's blended oatmeal all over the floor because she did an activity she's allowed to like put a paper because she likes ripping it up and everything so there's just that and then i have a load that was washing dishes in the sink ready to go into the next load a little activity and then just stuff on the table we have another bathroom and this is a bag of stuff that i just need to take to my car but we try to once we come in put all of our stuff in a little basket that's normally here but the dog likes to take it the dog to pick it up so we just throw everything in here but yeah like you see what i mean like it's clean it's clean but it's not like aesthetic you know and it just little things bug me i don't know why it's just maybe a postpartum thing i don't know because i started becoming that way when i was pregnant and i started nesting and then it got even worse once I had her and I was just like, oh my god, like I have so much I need to do. I just want to be a perfect mom. I want to have everything done. I want to have everything perfect. Don't be hard on yourself. Just as long as it's clean, as long as your kids have a good environment to live in, that's what matters, right? And again, I've worked very hard to declutter a lot and minimize a lot and organize things in a way and make a system so that even when it's chaotic, it's still sort of nice it's really the last point that i have on my phone because i just kind of ramble and accidentally covered everything that i have <laughs> but getting out of the house is something very very important even if it's just going for a walk but i really try to find things for us to go see so i will look up museums i will look up like different parks that we can go see when my husband is home on his day off we love to go hiking but he's not here right now because he is training and the carrier that girl you know she's one now so she's around 20 pounds and that hurts my shoulder is really bad to go hiking while wearing her so instead we ordered this little hiking carrier backpack thing for bigger kids so once that comes in i am looking forward to actually hiking even while he's at work we try to find like places to go try food little shops like whatever we can do we try to get out and just do our thing and go sightsee and that feels so good to just get out like why do i need to stay within my four walls like i'm not restricted here i'm not on house arrest i don't have to stay in my home just because i'm a stay-at-home parent that doesn't mean that i need to be in the house you know what I'm saying? So I like to just get her out and let her explore and just 
go see things, just get out, you know what I'm saying? Leave your house. I think it would help to have a group of people. And that's kind of brings me to one of my last points is try and socialize. Try and make a group of solid friends. And I know that can feel really hard, especially when number one is age of social media where I feel like it just, I don't know if it exposes people more or if it just makes people more like materialistic and vain. It can be hard to find people who don't have any drama they aren't in competition with you. They just are your friends. They want to hang out with you and spend time with you. My advice for that would just be to keep making friends. If one friendship doesn't work out, meet somebody else. Invite somebody else over. Go, you know, go do your activity together. Good friends are out there if you keep looking. And there are apps that are like Tinder, but for finding mom friends. I think one of them is called Peanut. That's a really good thing to look into. Again, I mean, it is the internet, so be careful. It is a way to meet other moms. I know I just keep thinking of things as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, but my very last point is to make pampering yourself a priority. And that's really all my advice for now. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe down below and share this with your friends and family because it helps me grow my channel. Bye.